Hey, Navigation Traders, welcome to this month's update. Every month, I like to take a couple minutes just to update you on our trades from the previous month. Another month in the books, so let's recap May. A great month of trading. We had 16 closed trades, 14 of which were winners. Total profit of over $4,600, which is actually our highest profit amount since we've started posting, which is excellent. So I'll go into the details of all the different trades to break that down for you. The different strategies traded had a lot of short strangles, iron condors, implied volatility stayed relatively high and a lot of symbols. So selling premium was a, a big part of our strategy last month. Also had a long put vertical and then still in earnings season a little bit. So we had a, some pre-earnings long straddle and a post earnings short strangle. So let's jump in and take a look at the different trades. Let's go to this page first. This is navigationtrading.com forward slash performance. So this is open to anyone, uh, not just our pro members, but this gives the updated trade statistics. So year to date in 2018, we've had 65 closed trades. Our average profit is up to $209 per trade with a winning percentage over 87%. So awesome stats. Uh, here, here's the May breakdown, all the different trades. You can see the two losers were a pre-earnings long straddle in Apple and then a pre-earnings long straddle in Costco that didn't quite work out for us. All the others were nice winners and I'll break down these uh, here in just a second. But you can see, as I mentioned, a lot of short strangles, iron condors selling premium in the month of May. On this page, just uh, for your reference, we go back and show all of our trades, losers and winners. You can see all the trades from 2018. Then we also break down 2017 from when we very first started posting, which was in June of 2017. So you can see all the trades that we've made since that point. Uh, so let's go to the membership area. So if you're a pro member and you log in, here's what that's gonna look like. And we just, we're clicking on close trades and so let's break down the different trades that we made throughout the month of May, starting with May 1st was the first exit where we did that Apple pre-earnings long straddle. Lost $70 on that trade. We just didn't get the, the expansion of implied volatility or the movement we needed. So we took a small loss there. Uh, Tesla, we did a long put vertical, meaning we were, we were getting short Tesla. Worked out nicely, booked a profit of $256. CL oil, one of my favorite trading strategies. Anytime CL gets above that 50 on the implied volatility, I love to sell premium in oil, particularly short strangles because you get such a good bang for the buck. Booked a profit of $530 on that one. NVIDIA did a pre-earnings long straddle, worked out really nicely, got an expansion in implied volatility and a big price move, which is what we wanted. Booked a profit of 556. In ZN, which is the 10-year notes, did a short strangle. You can see how we had to do a couple adjustments there, but stayed mechanical, booked a profit of over $140 there. Facebook, we did a post-earnings short strangle, worked out nicely for $148. GLD, the gold ETF, booked a profit of $192 on that one. Did have to make one adjustment here, uh, but by doing so, we were able to come out with a profit there. EEM short strangle, in and out for $195 there. 6E, which is the Euro future, traded options on that, uh, booked a nice profit of over 287 on that one. EWW, which is the Mexican ETF, no adjustments needed there, booked a quick profit of, of just under $100 there. IYR, which is the real estate ETF, booked a profit of 150 there. And then on FXI, we had a couple positions uh, come in that we closed. Uh, one of which being FXI, which we had been in for quite some time. And you can see all the different adjustments and roles that we had to do here. But by staying mechanical, extending duration, continue to, to adjust exactly like we teach in our course, booked a profit of 760 bucks there. So great, great trade in FXI. Uh, CL, another oil trade, booked another profit of 490 there. And then this one is soybeans. Look how long this list is. This is one that we'd been in for almost a year. And when we first got into it, the trade went immediately against us significantly. So we had to extend duration and roll and adjust. 
And just like we teach in the course, you know, if, if a trade goes against you, that typically just means that you're going to be in that trade longer than the typical one cycle in and out trade. So you can see we made a ton of adjustments here. And after all that came out with a total profit of exactly a thousand dollars. So kind of interesting there. Great, great kind of test study on, on staying mechanical with your adjustments is a great trade to kind of learn from for those of you who, who followed along the whole time, which I know there were several of you. Uh, XRT did a short strangle, booked a quick profit of 104. Costco, the pre-earnings long straddle, uh, didn't get the move or expansion implied volatility that we wanted, took a, took a loss of 194. Uh, this last trade in Amazon, this was in June, so this doesn't count towards our May, but started off with a small winner in June here. So those are all the trades. Let's just go back to this for easy reference. We're only trading on a lot of these one contract, at the most five on some of these lower price symbols. You know, with this total profit of over 4,600, uh, you know, if you're, if you're trading more contracts than this, just multiply that times the number of contracts you trade. We have some members trading five to 10 times the number of contracts we show here. And so you can just multiply that, those profits out. You can trade these types of strategies in any size account. And that's why we, we like to show a relatively small number of contracts so that you understand that you can do this with a relatively small account or you can do it with a massive account. So we have, we have people with small accounts all the way up to multiple seven figure accounts as our members. So hope that was helpful. Implied volatility is still relatively high in, in quite a few symbols, which bodes well for the type of trading that we do. We've had some good two-sided action, uh, so it continues to be a great time to trade these strategies. If, uh, if you're interested in checking out our pro membership where you get all these alerts, just go to products and click on pro membership or in the upper right hand corner, you do have that uh, pro membership trial if you wanna check that out. Uh, so navigationtrading.com slash pro dash member. That'll give you all the details for what our pro membership is all about. And we have just recently opened it up. So we had, we had closed down for a few months because of such a huge inflow of members. We are caught up and ready to accept additional members. So it's, a, it's now open. Check it out if you're interested. Can't wait to have you on board and watch you grow as a trader. Happy trading, everybody. Talk to you next time.